What's going on guys, PlasmaxL here, and in today's video, I have a very um, excited announcement on a project that I've been working on in my Genshin game, as sort of like a side hobby for the last um, few months actually, um, and it basically involves the Serenita Teapot. Um, so, as you can see, this is sort of just my main area that I hang around. It's my functional one. It's got all my characters. But I've been working on another teapot project over here um, on the uh, floating abode. And it is um, what I believe to be the biggest and, I'm going to say, best Genshin maze, at least as of now. Uh, I've done a, f a few searches. I've tried to see if anybody's done anything similar yet. And I think I'm the first to make a maze of this scope. Um, this is my PXL 420 maze. Uh, 420 for the last three digits of my uh, UID in game. Um, and yeah, it's 43,070 Adeptal points big. Uh, it's pretty freaking huge. It covers all four islands. And the islands are pretty like filled out completely. Um, it uses rocks and it uses the uh, the standard wall, like maze walls that you get from Liyue. It's one of the Liyue crafting recipes. And uh, yeah, just really quick, I'm going to show you guys my uh, inventory on like how many pieces I used. 230 of those, a bunch of walls, uh, 91 corners, uh, 60 of those T-pose ones, uh, only two of the cross ones. I couldn't find a lot of applicable places for it. One main gate, which is the start one you've seen. A few of those loops basically just indicate starts and end, ends of uh, Stunning Islands. And then a bunch of rocks. Um, yeah, after I show you guys the rock count. Um, as you see uh, right now on screen, I've got four different stages. I gave them all little sub names. As you can see, and essentially those sections are mazes. And yeah, they each have their own little like knack or their their own style to them um they are built like relatively like far apart from each other time wise so i think i went in at each maze with like a slightly different mindset um anyway the reason that i decided to uh, even try to make a maze of this size is because of the 2.1 update uh, i'm gonna post it on screen as you can see um i highlighted that it reduces the uh, load by repeatedly placing different uh or rather the same furnishings um, so if you placed a lot of corners and you placed a lot of walls, uh, the load actually dropped down to half. And it's something that I actually watched a lot of, like, players, like, gloss over because 2.1 was the Raiden Shogun update, you know, bunch of hype surrounding that, and there was also the anniversary and stuff coming up. So I can see why it glo got glossed over, but that really, like, got me motivated to just start slowly piecing together a maze. I had already had, like, walls preemptively built because I was crossing my fingers on an update like this. Um, and I was just excited to see it happen. But, yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully I'm gonna have a few of my friends and some other players trying out the maze. Um, I'm probably gonna record some clips of that. I'm trying to keep, like, the contents of it a little secret for now. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the vid, and thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.